Hi guys, uh, welcome. I thought I would make a short video just to introduce myself and um, try and explain a little bit about what I'm doing. So um, I have started to grow my hair out. Uh, I started to do it kind of unintentionally to begin with. So um, I started off with quite short hair. I'll put a picture on there. So it was clipped back and sides number two and pretty short on top. Um, kept quite neat and quite short and um, I'd let it grow out for I would say about two months not intentionally um, just hadn't got round to uh, going down to the hairdressers to get it to get it sorted and thought maybe I would let it grow a bit longer just to see what it looks like um, and I'm now currently um, how far on am I now five months in now uh, so it's still not as you can tell it's, it's obviously still not long by any stretch of the imagination. Um, if I pull it down it will go to about there. Uh, it is slightly longer on top because obviously it started slightly longer on top. I've started to get bits that curl down around the bottom so I've got kind of a mullet thing going on there. Um, so it's definitely definitely within what you would call an awkward stage. Um, but I've decided to kind of just go with it. I've got a bit of um, just hair putting at the moment, just trying to control it because my hair is quite thick and fairly curly as well. So trying to keep it under any kind of control, I do. Um, I don't always put any kind of hair product in it. Sometimes, if I've not got to go out and go to see a client, something like that, then I'll um, I'll just leave it and I'll just rock it being a complete mess, and I don't really care. Um, the only time I'm really bothered about what I look like is um, when I'm seeing clients. I'm, I'm a will writer, so I, I have to go and visit clients um, and look fairly smart. And obviously, the hair doesn't really help at the moment. Can't wear a hat when I'm going to see the clients. I don't really like wearing hats anyway. Um, I've got a tiny head, and uh, hats never seem to look right on me. Um, so I don't. Um, but yeah, so this is kind of. I guess it's the start of it getting worse and worse and worse for, for, for a while, certainly until it's long enough to do anything really substantial with. Um, and maybe you'll follow me through this. Um, I'm learning as I go. Um, I'm starting to learn some new things like uh, I would always uh, shampoo my hair every single day. Um, I've never, that I can think of, used conditioner. Um, but now I have started to use conditioner. Uh, I still shampoo every day because my hair's quite greasy as well. My skin's quite greasy. My hair's quite greasy. And um, and if I leave it for a day, you know, when I'm doing the days where I'm not putting anything in any putty or any other products at all, I'm just leaving it. Even if I've shampooed and conditioned uh, that that morning, by the end of the day, my hair looks pretty greasy. Um, so maybe that won't be the case when it gets a bit longer. Maybe it'll need that left in there. Everybody sort of says that you shouldn't wash your hair quite so frequently when it when it gets to that kind of stage and it needs your natural oils in there but for the moment what I can say for me is that I probably do need to, to keep washing it without it looking like I'm homeless um, and uh, yeah I mean I did uh, I suppose reasons for, for me wanting to, to grow my hair there is just part of it is just wanting to see what it looks like I did grow my hair out years and years ago um, when I was probably about 16 I, I grew my hair longer um, certainly not particularly long, it was probably down to about here, I guess, at about its longest. Um, but at the time, um, it's coming back again now, I think, or it is back again now, to have it undershaved um, to about here and then growing down over the top. Well, that was definitely the thing at the time. Um, so I had a centre parting. I never thought to do anything else with it at the time, so I was growing out from a centre parting. And when I started, it was just like kind of a mushroom thing sitting on top of my head, because my hair's quite thick, as I say. It's actually probably not as bad as it was when I was... At that age, it's probably relaxed a bit more with my age, I guess. But um, by the time, it was really, really thick. Um, and, uh, and yeah, it just looked terrible. Um, but I kind of dealt with it for, 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 for long enough. Uh, my parents were on at me saying, you know, you need to get your hair cut. It looks awful. Uh, it was coming up to my auntie's wedding. And uh, I was saying, please get it cut. Please get it cut for the wedding. You know, you look terrible on the photos and whatever else. Um, and I was had no intention of getting it cut until... Um, so the story was, um, some of you guys, some of you young guys probably won't have even seen these, but at the time when I was at school, you used to have these things called overhead projectors, OHPs, and the idea was you used to put, the teachers used to put an acetate with um, whatever it was they were trying to teach the class on, on this light, and it would project onto the whiteboard. 
and from where I was sitting, there was no HP that was behind me, and there was nothing, no acetate on the screen. So I was in the view of the, the between the, the OHP and the, and the screen. And I got a silhouette, a huge silhouette of my head uh, projected onto the OHP. And because of the centre party and because of the fact that my hair bulged out, it just looked like a massive cock. Um, and, uh, and I decided that I didn't want everybody to be saying that all the time. I didn't want that thing to be something that stuck. So, um, you know, the next day or two, I, I went and got my hair pretty much cut completely off and didn't, other than, you know, where you get that thing where you miss a few trips to the hairdresser, because I'm a bit lazy with that. Um, it wouldn't grow any kind of length. Um, I'm now 39. So am I growing it because it's a bit of a midlife crisis? I suppose in some ways perhaps I am. Um, I want to see that it's different. I want to make, I've had quite some major, major changes in my life quite recently. Um, and uh, I just want to do something slightly different. You know, I want to see what it's like. I want to do something different. Um, I guess you kind of want to be a slightly different person. And, uh, and your hair is a lot about your identity, I think. So, you know, that's, uh, that's, what, that's what I'm getting at. I've been taking a picture every day um, since the beginning of the week, so not very long. So I, I, I didn't take any pictures from the time when I started letting it grow out unintentionally until fairly recently when I've decided just to let it go. Um, so there's going to be a gap in between. It's not going to be a complete time lapse. You know, you're going to get from where it's at kind of now uh, until wherever I end up at whatever time I'm, I'm, I'm not expecting it to be any time fast. I'm expecting that, you know, it's going to take at least a, a year really to get anything that uh, could be considered long. Um, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to cope with some of the stages. Uh, hopefully you guys will be able to help me out. I've been watching other videos on YouTube, some of which are helpful, some of them um, not necessarily quite so much. Um, partly, I guess, because I'm a bit older and uh, I'm a bit stuck in my ways and uh, it's not always with my hair type. Um, you know, a lot of people look as if they've got a lot straighter, thinner hair that I'm seeing when they're making the videos and mine is not not that way, you know, mine is um, has its own uh, has its own mind. Um, but we'll see, look, we'll see. Um, nobody so far has really said anything negative. I've been getting lots of people saying, oh, um, you look like you need a haircut, but, um, but they're not saying it in a really negative way, it's just kind of like a comment, which if you didn't know that I was growing out, then you would think, yeah, yeah, you probably do. <laughs> You know, it's not it's not exactly the best looking at the moment. Um, my wife, um, well, I should say that's one of the things that's been a big change. But my wife had said to me that um, she um, thought I should shave it again, um, which again, like I said to you before, I guess is the thing that's come back, and then have it longer on top in some kind of way. But I just don't think it suit my hair uh, from memory from last time. It just doesn't suit me. I just look like I've got a big thing on my head and. It just doesn't look right. Uh, I know it suits some people. Probably might suit you if you've got a, a slimmer, kind of more defined face or something, or you know, if you kind of that chiselled, um, slightly effeminate model look. But as you can see, I'm not that. Um, so, so I, I, I don't think that will quite work for me. Um, I'm not into skinny jeans and all that sort of stuff, so I'm not kind of a fashion boy like that particularly. Um, so, um, so yeah, so I just don't think that looks going to be right for me. It's not what I want. Um, yeah, a um, couple of guys that I work with uh, had, uh, had made comments, uh, one or two of them said, it, you know, I, I like you with your hair kind of growing longer, it looks cool, um, you know, uh, one, had, one had said it's about time for a haircut again, but again, nothing nothing really major, nothing that I can't cope with, um, and, uh, and really, other than clients, which I, obviously I care about a bit because I want to make sure I do business with the clients, so that's important to me. Uh, and you, you want to make a good impression on clients, but, and I think, um, you know, I, I try and do that as much as I possibly can. But other than that, I don't really care what anybody else says. I couldn't give a shit. Um, I do. I, I mean, I always, always have to get over a, a, another thing. Anyway, I've got. Um, you could probably see. I mean, two of them are broken, but um, I have slightly longer fingernails on one hand because I play the guitar as well. So often with clients, you get normally it's women, but you get people that will pick up on that and they wonder why you've got long fingernails as a man on one hand and uh, some people will work it out because the left hand that I'm holding the phone with now doesn't and the fingertips look a bit battered uh, from from the strings. Uh, some people will ask, you know, do you play a guitar or something like that and they'll work it out. Other people 
they you can see them kind of looking a bit weirdly at my fingernails and I have to explain. Um, so I'm used to having to explain certain things. So far, uh, nobody's said, no clients said anything to me about my hair. I did have somebody look, kind of looking a bit strange um, a couple of days ago at it, but it was, uh, it was, you know, it wasn't like it didn't, it wasn't like it, wasn't like it mattered, you know. Nobody, no, most people are polite and I think if your personality comes through, that's okay. Um, and you still kind of look relatively smart in a suit anyway, don't you? You know, people people aren't probably quite so, um, so, so expect, the expectations perhaps aren't quite the same as they were at one stage where, you know, you'd expect to be um, absolutely clean shaven and, and very, you know, clean haircut. I mean, I do when I see clients who you can see, I've, I've not shaved this morning, um, but, um, but I'll normally shave to see a client. Um, occasionally I, I kind of just clipper that down as well. So I just get it. So it's not completely, completely shaved. And the reason I do that is because back to, again, in fact, I get greasy skin. And sometimes if I use a wet razor, um, I will, um, I'll end up with, um, sp I'll end up with spots, whereas I don't seem to get that if I'm just using, um, clippers and taking it right down and you just get a kind of neatish sort of look. It doesn't look like this where, uh, again, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to get a bit of a homeless look. Anyway, I think I've probably spoke enough for the, for the, for this video. Um, I'll put in uh, a photo of, uh, of how it was before, which was in um, end of March, beginning of April this year. Uh, this is 2018. Uh, it is currently uh, August, end of August 2018, and uh, and hopefully you guys will stick with me and we'll see how it goes, um, and you'll see a big difference hopefully by the end of it. Thank you. Bye.